we're evolving the Sword of the Stars universe. Um, it will be the universe that people played through in the original game and the two expansions. And it'll be expanded out into the future by about a hundred years. Um, and so all the races you're familiar with will have evolved somewhat, taken on new aspects, gameplay will take on new aspects. And it'll generally be a familiar elements, but an evolved game. Uh, the main goal of Sword of the Stars 2 will be uh, much the same as Sword of the Stars, in which to conquer the galaxy, pick a side. Um, in this case, the added forces of the Sulka, the Lords of Winter, will be present and will be in opposition to the player, or the player can play as them to try and conquer the universe. Returning elements will be uh, modular construction of starships, uh, the randomized tech tree. Um, all the races will have their unique star drives as well. Um, the game will still represent the clean uh, game elements we've come to expect, with new elements being enjoyable for gameplay and interesting strategic choices, but without cluttering things with detail or spreadsheets. Uh, Swords of Stars 2 is a space 4X game, uh, strategy-based, 4X standing for Explore, Exploit, Expand and Exterminate. Um, players will take the role of one emperor in one of the empires, and try and conquer all the others. There'll be a variety of scenarios that are based on the history of the universe and freeform games where it's just simply like a sandbox where you go out and explore stars and build starships and research technologies. Um, it'll be multiplayer up to 10 people and uh, it will retain the same turn-based real-time hybrid where your strategic turn is done uh, on your own time and then combat is a real-time combat mix in full 3D. The hard story of the stars is that it's a toolbox that rewards the player for his own tactics and strategy. Instead of the game telling you how to win, it's up to you to decide how to do it. It provides numerous weapons, numerous tactics, numerous technologies, and you as the player get to decide what it is will come up with the winning strategy. New features in Sword of the Stars um, will build on features in the original game and expand them out in new and interesting directions. Um, the tech tree will of course be have random sections and be expanded out for each race and different disciplines. Um, but it will not be the same old tech tree of the original game with stuff just tacked on top. It will start at a higher level and move up even farther past what you found in the original game. Star systems will be more detailed. Instead of just one abstracted planet to fight over, there'll be asteroids and comets and multiple stars, and the whole meal deal. The six original races from uh, sort of the stars, the Hivers, the humans, the Tarkins, the Zool, the Lear, and the Marigi will all be back. Um, not, some not in the same forms as they were in the original game, some in more complicated factions. For instance, the Marigi will form a federation of other races um, in which they will be the command and control and military force guiding them, but they'll incorporate fact, aspects of all the other races. Uh, Real-time combat in Sword of the Stars 2 will be uh, similar to Sword of the Stars 1 in the sense that it'll be full 3D but the player will move the ships and give them the fire orders in 2D, while the ships themselves will move in three dimensions, so they'll avoid each other, dive and climb under each other, that sort of thing. Um, what will be new for SOTS 2 is the movement scale will be bigger. Uh, players will have entire star systems to maneuver in. Um, this will make things like searching out the enemy, uh, scanning for the enemy, deep attacks more interesting. Um, it'll give a variety of tactical and strategic choices to make. And it will also open up a number of targets to make. Instead of attacking the main planet every time, it'll be opened up for you to attack a mining base or habitation colonies around a moon, that sort of thing. Uh, new weapons will do new things. Um, the introduction of the Battle Rider class means that you'll be able to perform true carrier-based actions in which you might keep your big support carrier ship back and send out your... Uh, your battle riders deep into the system to raid the planet or attack a group of ships and then pull them back in time to get to the carrier and keep it safe. Um, Service Arts 2 will be subtitled The Lords of Winter. Um, this will provide the enemy that's been hinted at all the way through Sword of the Stars 1 and the two expansion packs. Um, these are the dangerous Sulka who uh, originally enslaved the Lear and created the Zul. Uh, players have seen their actions from a almost third-party perspective, their footprints through the Sword of the Stars universe, so to speak. Um, in Sword of the Stars 2, they will meet them full on and they will be able to play them full on. And while we don't want to give too much away right now, um, it is safe to say that they will introduce gameplay elements and play like no other faction in any other 4X game seen so far.